I'm surprised they have a huge audience. That shows the interest in the topic continues to grow, which is fantastic. We had really, really smart people on the panels, people that run these businesses, and to hear them talking about some of the new opportunities and new challenges was fantastic. So no, I loved it. I thought it was a great morning. Yeah, so payments used to be something that was done in the back office of most organizations, whether it was with a merchant or whether it was a merchant acquirer. Now it's much more an issue that's being talked about at a CEO level and a chief marketing officer level. It's no longer just about the IT or the operations. And a consequence of all of that is that it's become much more strategic. So it has gone from being boring to the boardroom. I think what PSPs really need to focus on is when they're expanding into different geographies and different countries, they need to make sure that they invest enough in their product and they need to make sure that they, one, have the right payment mix and two, that the merchants, either if they're doing cross-border payments or they're acquiring local merchants, they need to provide the same seamless experience. We focus on creating solutions for merchants. So on one hand, creating more successful payments by taking a deeper look at the authorizations, build modeling built on historical information to optimize the authorization flows, optimize the fraud flows as well based on the historical data sets, reducing the false positives and fraud, and looking at the complete consumer experience in payments. I think what it really comes down to is these are just stepping stones to putting the end user right at the heart of what it is you do and add value or service to them. So we can call that big data, we can call it omni-channel, but what we're really trying to do is to make it easier for the end user to do what they want to do. There's data exhaust in everything that happens, right? Every move, there's some sort of data that's kind of spun out, and I think that's picking that up and applying it to solve a problem is still gonna be underlying the next buzzword. I think the market is moving on. I think it is gone beyond omnichannel. I think frictionless payments, very, very current. I think PSD2 could be or may not be a good thing, depending on where you are within the value chain if you're a consumer, merchant or acquirer. This year, let me think the real buzzword was probably the Internet of Things. I think the Internet of Things pretty much embraces everything that I can think of at the moment. Big data, data science, artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, all these terms everybody's talking about, all these buzzwords. You know, to give the merchants customer recognition, that seemed to me to be a very powerful trend as well. APIs, I think this is something you hear in every speech and every panel. It's everywhere and it will still be around us for the years to come, I'm sure. We believe that in the next 18 to 24 months, this is gonna move to a marketplace where tablet is going to be the default option. And that's gonna be a big change expectations from the country and expectations from the customers are different. So we really need to kind of find a solution that works for all of the countries. Template solution is not that easy, but it is where we want to go for. The content is on the market. It's now just shifting the sales channel from e-commerce websites to mobile applications. So I think this will be something that you will have to keep your eyes on because it will for sure drive the illegal or brand damaging transactions within the future. We need a good partner with fraud prevention solution in that place. And with the data they are using, we can block not only one fraudster, we can block a lot of fraudsters when they are using the same device, for example, or the same email address or IP address. So this is really helpful for us. The more information you have, um, the better you can treat that player experience, the better it is. Especially when you're dealing with, say, friendly fraud, you want to make sure that somebody who says that they were defrauded was actually defrauded. Somebody who's a good customer is treated as a good customer. I see the payment industry running behind by other online industries. Even standard retail is going faster in data science than the payment industry is. So I think there needs to be a real catch-up. Fraud in consumer behavior is for us are the key focuses with being data-driven as a capture in the payment industry. PSD2 does a number of different things. It has some positive developments within it. So for example, the creation of a regulatory framework for payment initiation and account information services. And then 
that together with regulators, pressure on industry to create a unified interface through which to offer these services, it could unleash a whole new wave of innovation. I think we're talking about merchant services providers. Yeah. Acquiring is something that used to be done. Processing a transaction is something that used to be done. That's a commodity. It's actually about how do you drive more value for a merchant by helping them increase their sales, or helping them reduce their cost, or helping them mitigate fraud. That's what this industry is moving towards.